Sustainability. 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 Sustainability to me means finding a new way to do things. Development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the needs of future generations. We need to be using resources in a way that ensures that they're available for future generations. Not only create a product for solving a solution today in the consumer market, but also creating something that you know, is sustainable over a long haul that, that doesn't have repercussion, negative repercussions later on. I think the Hives project, in addition to the Dye Garden, all of those projects are really making a relationship between man and his environment. So I've been involved in the Natural Dye Garden since last year. Basically what we do is cultivate natural dyes that can be grown in New York City. We plant everything from zinnias to dahlias, marigolds, lavender, basil, fennel. I definitely think bees and the natural dye garden would go well together. I think that the idea of having a hive on the roof near the dye garden is a great idea. Lots of the flowers in the dye garden have bright colors, right? We're interested in those pigments. Well, it turns out the reason the plant's making those pigments is in order to attract the bees. The bee as a symbol has been used artistically for centuries. René Lalique used bees in his beautiful jewelry. Our students are inspired by the geometry and also by the lovely living form. Bombas is an athletic leisure sock company with a mission. We found out that socks were the number one most requested clothing item at homeless shelters, so we donate a pair of socks for every pair that somebody purchases. We borrowed from the Latin word for bumblebee, which is bombus, and changed it to bombus. And that was kind of our like take on creating an original name that was drawn from inspiration of bees. And then we built our tagline off of that, which is Be Better. The actual logo creation of the bee with the crown is that the queen bee is always at the center of the hive. We want our logo to represent that anybody can be the leader of their own hive, of their own community. We've always loved the designs that are inspired by bees, particularly the hexagon and honeycomb. The hexagon is the strongest naturally occurring shape in nature, and we thought there was a lot of ways to play upon that by bringing that into our product design and incorporating it into our honeycomb arch support. FIT Hives is a program that bridges the gap between industry and environment. This is an educational program that aims to educate our peers, students, faculty, the whole school about bees and the environment and their major role in all of the industries that are featured at FIT. A lot of the majors at FIT use resources from bees, such as beeswax. Beeswax is probably one of the most widely used natural materials in the cosmetics and fragrance industry. We think about beeswax always in terms of candles because that's where we see it. However, a greater use for beeswax is in the development of skin care and color cosmetics. So in skin care, beeswax is used as a thickener in products and used with borax it becomes an emulsifier. So all of your creams and your lotions, those are all emulsions. And what we mean by emulsions, we mean that we have found a way to make water and oil mix. Encaustic is actually one of the first forms of painting. I use beeswax that comes from RNF, which happens to be filtered and pharmaceutical grade. But there are artists who use beeswax straight from the bees. A lot of them actually are beekeepers and they use it direct and they like the fact that it's yellow in color. This is Demar resin, which is an Indonesian tree sap. Melted together with the beeswax makes this, which is um, encaustic medium. The reason we combine the Demar resin with the beeswax is it raises the melting temperature and it makes the paint harder and a little more translucent. One of the things that I really like about working with wax is the fact that it comes from the bees, that it's natural, that I can scrape it off and I can reuse it in some way, and I'm not worried about compromising the environment. My dream would be to be in a college situation as a lab with wax, 
and I think it crosses all kinds of mediums so that anyone could come to me whether you were in sculpture, you were in photography, printmaker, um, and we could figure out how you could use wax to possibly make your studio practice um, move along further. I really like the way that the shape of a natural beehive is very free-flowing, it's very smooth, but then within the beehive it's very structured and very close-knit, and sort of that contrast is something that I like to incorporate into my own personal work. The Honey Bee Conservancy was actually formed with a, a very simple idea, which was to place honey bee sanctuaries in locations strategically where they could pollinate local urban farms and community gardens. We actually harvest honey from our hives. We also harvest beeswax, and there's also an opportunity to harvest resin, which we haven't done in the past. Traditionally, bees are installed in the spring because that's when the pollen sources start um, becoming available and nectar as well. In the winter, they do not really hibernate. They don't get into a slowing of their metabolism and almost a sleep state. They're alert, they cluster, and create their own warmth within the hive. I think we need more bees across America. Bees have been dying at really high levels. If we ruin habitats and reduce the biodiversity of habitats, all of a sudden bees have less of what is their consumable resource. They're important primarily for their agricultural benefit. Bees are very important to the environment because one in three bites of food we eat benefits from pollination that comes from bees. A lot of our food crops, tomatoes, squash, potatoes, fully depend on having some sort of bee or other pollinator to move their pollen around in this way. With FIT Hives, it kind of shows my interest in connecting the environment to the industry, what we're doing in the real world. Most beauty products are made out of chemicals mixed with natural materials. So the environment is very, very important to us. It's important from the standpoint of our ability to work with it so that we don't poison ourselves and poison our environment. It's important also as an element of our culture. Sustainability has been at the core of FIT's mission. So to have a hive on the roof would just re-emphasize and advance FIT's commitment to sustainability. If we can have something like a self-sustaining garden, something where the plants produce seed every year, the seed is going to be much better. It's not something that we have a goal and then it's done. It's something that we have to continuously work on. By having um, wax that we could actually harvest at FIT, we could incorporate that in our project and have something that is made at FIT, solely sourced from FIT. I think that urban beekeeping is uh, vital. If we have the, the ability to put a beehive on our rooftop or beehives, I really think we should. Everybody could be doing more in regards to sustainability. It has to become our way of life if we want to save the planet.